hi you guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making sausage and shrimp fried cabbage go ahead and take a screenshot of the ingredients and they will also be listed in the description so we're going to start by prepping the star of our dish which is the cabbage um i usually start by just cutting off that thick stem at the bottom and then i cut around the core in a square shaped pattern you guys can do whatever works best for you and if you do have any tips and tricks on a better way to do it then please let me know in the comment section And now that I've gotten that core and that stem removed, I just go ahead and slice it up to some thin slices. You guys can do squares or just whatever works best for you. After you're done slicing up your cabbage, go ahead and clean your cutting board. Then we're gonna go ahead and move on to our bell peppers. I did use orange and I did use yellow. So along with those bell peppers, I am gonna go ahead and cut up a yellow onion. I only use half of the yellow onion and I'm also only using half of each bell pepper. But if you want more veggies, then you can go ahead and cut up the whole bell pepper and you can go ahead and cut up a whole onion as well. So next we're going to go ahead and get together our sausage. I did use four beef links, but you can use any kind of sausage that you prefer. I cut mine round, but you can also cut them into quarters, just whatever your preference is. After you're done prepping your sausage, we're going to go ahead and prep the shrimp. I did season that with a tablespoon of the Tony Sasseries. You can use whatever seasoning you like though. Just something Creole, but if you want a different flavor, then of course go ahead and add that. I did go in with some garlic powder as well some onion powder and then some smoked paprika so after you're done seasoning you want to go ahead and give that a good mix just make sure that all the strip are evenly coated All right, so you want to go ahead and get out a nice size skillet. I did use an enamel cast iron skillet. I went ahead and added about a tablespoon of oil, and now we're going to add in those sausages to get those browning. And you just want to make sure that all of your sausages are laying as flat as possible in the skillet. All right, so after they have brown for a little while, I want to say I did mine for about five minutes on each side. You just want to go ahead and flip them and then give them about a, um, another two to three minutes. So once your sausage slices are to your desired doneness, then you want to go ahead and remove them into a paper towel lined bowl just to catch all that grease. And now that that's done, you want to go ahead and add your shrimp back to that same skillet. And of course, we're only going to cook these for about two to three minutes on each side. We don't want them to be overdone. All right, so since the two minutes have passed, I am going to go ahead and just flip these over and get the other side cooking. Again, you only need about two to three minutes per each side. Now that the shrimp are done, you're going to go ahead and remove those as well into a paper towel lined bowl. So 
So now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and add our veggies to the pot. And we're going to sear those until they get that nice brown color on them. Now you can go ahead and go in with that cabbage. And I know that it's going to look like your pot is overfilled at first. But trust me, you have to trust the process. <laughs> it'll cook down. It'll be fine. Just trust it. So now that the cabbage has cooked down a little bit, we're going to go ahead and go back in with some Tony Chasseries. I did use one tablespoon, but you can use more to taste. I used some smoked paprika. I sprinkled in a little black pepper. I used some garlic, of course. And since we already added onions into the mixture, you don't have to add the onion powder, but I did just for extra flavor and also out of habit. So <laughs> it's optional. Just do what works best for you. Now I'm going in with one tablespoon of sugar and then about two teaspoons full of apple cider vinegar. And go ahead and give that a good mix to make sure all the flavors mash up. And then you're going to go ahead and add in one tablespoon of butter and just mix that up again just to add a little extra flavor. All right, and go ahead and add all of your sausage and your shrimp back to the pot. Give that a good mix, of course. At this point, you can go ahead and perform a quick taste test. Go ahead and add some salt and pepper if you need to. But after that, you're pretty much done. This is the dish. It's simple, quick, easy, and to the point. It's definitely something that you have to add to your Sunday menu and also for whenever you're having guests over. But as always, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you next time.